Court appearances today for four Rikers inmates accused of attacking a correction officer. The group assault caught on camera over the weekend left the officer with multiple injuries. CBS 2's Lisa Rosner outside the Bronx Criminal Courthouse now live with more for us. Lisa. Maurice and Christine, those inmates are 18 years old and were allegedly part of the Bloods gang. We learned from the Bronx DA today that they were being held in a part of Rikers in a detention center there because they previously assaulted someone in jail. Today, correction officers fear they will do it again. Inmate Stephen Espinal appeared in court red-eyed and keeping his head down at times. A contrast to the bold sucker punch the Bronx District Attorney says he laid on 39-year-old correction officer Jean Rostand Souffrant. When the officer slightly let his guard down, viciously punched the officer, knocking him unconscious and causing him to fall against the wall, hitting his head. The DA explained inmates Devin Burns, Nazim Francis, and Samson Walston joined in, stomping, kicking, and even throwing an object at Souffron's face. He is hospitalized with serious neck and spine injuries. Espinal allegedly premeditated the attack against Souffron, who wrote him up a week ago for covering the window to his cell. These inmates told people on the phone that they were going to assault this officer. Dozens of Souffrant's fellow officers filled the courtroom for the arraignment. The president of the Correction Officers Benevolent Association applauds the DA, but... That's not enough. The blood of that correction officer is on the hands of the mayor. The mayor is responsible for what happened to him. The union says inmates are acting out because the mayor ended a policy called punitive segregation in 2016. That would have allowed officers to isolate inmates under the age of 21. They're going to get visits. They're going to do everything that every inmate who obeys the rules get. What has to happen? Does a New York City correction also have to be murdered? before this man takes his head out of the sand. A mayor's spokesperson responded today and said, quote, we have no intention of moving backward on our solitary reforms. It's clear that more solitary doesn't translate to less violence and can hurt people instead of helping them, end quote. And I spoke with Souffrant's family today. He is calling the inmates cowards and says he wants justice to be served. Now, charges against them include gang assault as well as harassment. Espinal pleaded not guilty. He is being held on $500,000 bail. The other three are being held on $300,000 bail, and they are due back before a judge on Friday. We're live outside Bronx Criminal Court. Lisa Rosner, CBS 2 News.